Hey, this is a restricted area due to COVID-19. Stay in your homes. Identify yourself. Stay in your homes. Yeah, so uh, it's been kind of crazy um, with all the, you know, basically Chinese Wuhan virus, you know, stuff going on and everybody like getting PPE. I didn't think to myself that 2020 was the year that I would be going out and getting hazmat suits and ventilators and um, masks and like gloves and all this kind of like crazy PPE stuff. And, you know, I was just thinking, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, buy more guns and like cool stuff. But no, you know, I got to fucking get like rations and canned goods and friggin who would have thought that Charmin toilet paper extra soft was going to be difficult to get? But I guess that's the world we're living in. Um, so uh, I did a review before on the MCU 2P uh, Millennium Mask, and um, you know I've had that one for a while. Uh, you can check out that video. We'll just put a link somewhere. Um, so I, I've upgraded recently to the Airboss LBM, which is their uh, low burden mask. Um, so basically, if you're thinking about getting one, just make sure to go and size yourself for it. Uh, they do come in a small, medium, large type sizing and stuff, so you just want to make sure you get the right one for your face. Um, I will say that uh, these are really comfortable. Um, more comfortable than the MCU 2P. Uh, that being said, there is something to be said about saying that wearing PPE is comfortable. Um, I've actually wore a hazmat suit recently, uh, which was kind of cool. Um, I wore uh, basically like the full suit, so you, know, you put it on, it's got built-in booties and stuff, which actually I thought was interesting because you see a lot of uh, guys wearing hazmat suits, they pull the booties over their feet, whereas these ones are built in and then you just, it's like a built-in sock almost that you just put into your shoe so you have like the traction and the boot on the outside of the suit, which I thought was very interesting. Basically, uh, it was kind of cool. It, it had like a, basically like a Gore-Tex material. So it just felt kind of like a crinkly, kind of like this, but you know, just a crinkly outer shell. And then uh, it had built-in gloves, which was very interesting, which actually made it really annoying to put on stuff because you have to put the suit on. Actually, you put your mask on first. So I put my Airboss on first. And then I put the suit on because the suit covers all your whole body. Like the only, after you zip it up, the only hole is where your face and the mask pop out of the top. So it actually like covers your whole body, right? Um, so you have to put your mask on first and then you push your face through that tiny hole, zip up the bottom of the suit, and then you put all your stuff on. So I put my play carrier on after that and then I slung my rifle over. Um, but the gloves are built in too, so it's not like a separate thing. And it's, it felt like wearing dishwashing gloves, which is very interesting. I don't particularly like the feel of that. Um, so after taking everything off later, when we were done, my hands were like really sweaty and I was obviously like my face was sweaty, but the rest of my body actually was pretty well ventilated. We weren't wearing it for a crazy amount of time or like doing like crazy stuff, but just, you know, you know, walking around with like kid on and like taking pictures and stuff. I think it, you know, it was a very interesting experience to try that. Um, so I, I just never like wore hazmat suits before, but, uh, here to talk about the mask primarily. So these are nice. Um, the main thing I would say is that the comfort level is extremely high comparatively to most masks that I have put on, uh, before. So I've tried a, quite a few different masks on, and I think the LBM pretty much is the king. Um, I was interested in the, uh, I think it's like the the joint issued M50. Um, that one I think is cool because you see, you know, a lot of like in the wild photos of dudes wearing that mask. Uh, but the, the drawback is it does use pretty expensive proprietary filters. So you do have to, um, you know, kind of source those out. The C50 is kind of like the civilian version that uses the 40 millimeter standard filters. Um, Airboss, LBMs use the standard 40 millimeter canister. The cool thing about that too is um, 
you know, you can use any, any 40 millimeter filter, right? That's the obvious feature. And then this one, it has a spring system that automatically seals the mask up so that you can do hot swaps. Um, this is good uh, for the sense of the purpose that it's made. However, it did kind of freak me out a little bit because when I had the mask on and then I pushed my face through the hole and basically fit the suit around the rest of my body, I was like, what if the filter comes off? Because essentially what it is is when the filter comes off, you basically, it seals up the hole before the filter exits. And then you're supposed to put another one on immediately and then you can start breathing again. But if there's no filter, you will literally suffocate in your mask. Um, I haven't taken the time to read the instructions, so maybe there's some kind of like emergency release thing where you can open up the valve without having a filter on it. But uh, I was just kind of playing around with that because initially we were thinking, oh, I'm just going to put the mask on with no filter, put it on, put the suit on, and then screw on the filter after. But it, you can't do it quickly enough because it's like a rubber seal that goes around your face. So you like have to actually like fit it properly and it takes uh, probably longer than I can hold my breath. Uh, maybe some people can actually do it, but I just can't hold my breath for that long as far as estimation goes. So I had to put on the mask with the filter attached before donning the suit. And so pushing that through was quite annoying. Uh, basically, overall, wearing PPE is not sexy. No matter how much the pictures on Weapon Outfitters, Patreon, uh, says otherwise, um, PPE is just not sexy. It's not really cool. I mean, it is. it looks cool, but when you're actually wearing it and walking around, in my mind, I was like, oh, this sucks so much. Um, so yeah, basically the uh, mask self seals and then you put on a new filter and so you can do hot swaps in an environment, which is very interesting. Um, there's a uh, kind of like, I guess like an outlet system uh, for your voice to come out so that uh, you can be heard relatively easily. And they also make a VPU, voice projection unit, that attaches to the front of it so it amplifies your voice. Uh, probably not gonna get one of those cause it's pretty much as expensive as the mask, which is insane to me. Um, right now for the uh, MCU 2P, I believe you can buy a VPU unit that's like 30 bucks on eBay. Uh, but the, the units for the VPU for the Air Boss are like just as much as the mask and the mask is like $600. Um, so kind of a lot, um, not really something I would say, you know, you should just buy willy nilly, but uh, once again, also not taking into consideration that COVID-19 like wrecked the world. Um, you know, this stuff is like, oh, well, now people are just throwing money at it. Like, oh my God, I need this or I'm going to die from COVID, which I think generally speaking, if you're young and you're healthy, you're probably going to be okay, especially if you're not um, making out with every person that you see, uh, probably going to be all right. Um, wash your hands, you know, wear a mask if you go out, should be fine, I think. So I have seen some people wearing uh, full face masks out in public, which is kind of interesting, I guess, because I almost think that, you know, before it would be an issue, like if somebody were to wear a mask like this in public, like if you went to Costco or something wearing this mask, then the police would get called and you'd be in a whole world of trouble. And now they're going to call the police on you if you don't wear a mask. So Things are just really topsy-turvy right now. Um, but anyway, the uh, Air Boss comes with a lens system. So right now I've got the sunshade on here and then basically you can uh, just rotate this off and it will basically just be clear lens underneath. Uh, the other reason why I wanted to get a face mask like this is uh, it's a little lower profile. The MCU-2P kind of has like um, almost like that jet fighter uh, bubble where it's like one big round lens, which is nice because it gives you good visibility. Uh, the bad thing though is because it sticks out, um, it tends to bump into stuff, especially if you're using weapons and things like that, bringing a gun up, um, you know, the buttstock and like the optic and stuff could potentially like bump into it or scratch it, right? Um, also, it doesn't work with night vision. 
So if you, you know, got your helmet and your nods and you try to flip your nods down, the nods are going to hit the front of the lens. So I was thinking, oh, I'd like to get something that's lower profile um, that I could use with night vision. So the Air Boss allows use with night vision because it is lower profile. Um, so essentially what it is is the, um, I could just put the nods down. Ideally, probably wouldn't be using it with the sunshade with nods. I actually haven't tried it with the, the shade on, um, just with the clear lens, and it clears fine, but I do have to push my night vision goggles out to pretty much the farthest length that the mount will allow. You might be able to get some kind of like extended mount or something that would push it out farther, but the farther away it is, the smaller your um, kind of your view through the lens is, so that's kind of a interesting aspect, but uh, having to wear night vision with a mask like this, I feel like that's kind of a shit hits the fan sort of situation that I probably personally as a civilian will never come across. But then again, at the same time, it's 2020 and we're facing murder hornets. So realistically, I don't know what to tell you, but um, if you get your, if you get to choose and you don't have budgetary constraints, this is one of the best masks that you can buy um, to date, I suppose. I mean, it uses standard filters, got changeable lenses. You can get the sunshade one, you can get the, there's like a high-vis yellow one, and then the standard clear is just, you know, underneath it. Um, you can get the voice projection unit if you've got unlimited money, but you can still talk relatively easily through it. And it's super comfortable. Um, that's the other thing that I will say most people um, that I know that have them also say it's extremely comfortable comparatively to a lot of the other masks out there. So in my mind, it was worth it to get it um, just to do this video for my loving fans that watch these crazy review videos that I do. Um, yeah, so you kind of have like a mesh sort of backing to it. Um, so actually, yeah, it, it ends up being really comfortable underneath. Um, I've worn a helmet over it too, and it's relatively comfortable. I would say, you know, depending on the pads that you have that are sitting on your head, they potentially could interfere with some of this being underneath it. But generally speaking, I'd say if your helmet is the correct size, you should be able to open it up just enough to accommodate any excess. And this is very, very thin mesh, so I don't really think that's going to um, be too much of an impact. I do notice there's a drinking straw in here on the inside. Let's see if I can show that to you guys. Um, you can see there's like a little drinking straw area. And um, I think, you know, you could probably hook up something so you can drink water. I think it's like here maybe. I just got it, so I haven't really played with it much. But I think this is your drinking tube valve right here that you would just plug into whatever system you have that works for it. I, I don't have that, um, so that might be something I'll have to look for in the future. Uh, and then this is your other valve cover if you want to switch sides. I have it on the left side, which is standard because I'm a right-handed shooter, so basically it keeps the valve out of the way of the buttstock. Um, this bulge here does make it difficult even with super high mounts. Um, since I have done videos on high mounts and stuff before, kind of talked about that, how in order to shoot passively through your optic, you will need to have it raised up so that it'll clear things like masks and, you know, be high enough for night vision and that kind of sort of stuff. So it just barely clears. Like if I put my buttstock right here, um, it just barely clears the, um, clears the ability for me to look through the optic. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess there's not really much more to, add, um, to talk about. Um, you know, mainly just get sized properly for it. Uh, here's a close up if I didn't really show that to you guys before. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions about the mask, um, this is the Airboss LBM. Just let me know in the comments below. Um, tell me what you think. Do you have PPE? Have you been stocking up um, you know, your toilet paper and stuff during this time? Uh, I know people are probably going crazy being quarantined, so uh, hopefully this gives you a little bit more entertainment to get you along. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, just let us know. Uh, we also have a Discord if you want to talk more directly with us. You can definitely uh, join. We'll have the link in the description. 
and come and hang out. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. Love you guys. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching my videos. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.